Hello and welcome to Hump Day How To number five. This is Kyla Givehand of Giving Hands Creative, and I am coming to you with something a little bit different this week. I thought that I would um, just based on folks asking me. I guess I posted some stuff in some of the online communities that I'm in on um, Facebook. Um, work that I've been doing where my photos are really small and so people have been asking me how I get my how do I shrink them down that tiny and still sort of keep the resolution and keep the clarity of the photo and I don't actually shrink them down so I just wanted to share what I'm using how I'm doing that so that uh, if folks are interested they can use it I will preface by saying I do use iPhoto uh, they're not paying me anything to do this video. I'm not getting any sort of kickback. Uh, it just happens to be the program that I use, and I won't be talking about any other program. Um, so if you don't have iPhoto, you may not want to watch the rest of this. But if you do, I hope you'll stay tuned and hopefully learn something and maybe figure out how to leverage your artwork in various ways using iPhoto. So I'm just going to hop over to iPhoto. And so what I do is um, the way I, iPhoto works and this is the newest version I don't know the number or any of that but it's the latest update of iPhoto and it allows you to select your pieces that you want to print photos um, scan pieces of art whatever you have as an image in your iPhoto library and then you can print that out in different various sizes so I start by making sure I'm clicked on photo over in the li library list and then I find the photos that I want to work with and in this case for this example I'm going to be using photos of the cards that we created in the me myself and I course that I teach online um, and so I'm just going to select I don't know let's, let's select nine different ones um, just gonna do them randomly actually let's just start here so I'm just holding down my shift key I clicked one and I'm holding down my shift key and I'm just gonna select nine of them so that's four eight this one would be number nine and when you do that it selects all of them if I wanted to select ones that were not next to each other I could do that by holding down my control key and clicking the ones that I want um, but in this case I'm just taking nine it's for demo purposes um, I'm probably actually not gonna print them out but I want to show you the steps for printing them out so I've selected my nine now I'm gonna go up to file down to print and when you do that you have several options. You can print each image to fill the entire page. Uh, one was called fit, that means it'll fit it on the page. Fill means just gonna fill, it's gonna blow it up and fill the entire paper. Uh, the first thing I always make sure before I look at any of that, I make sure I have the correct printer selected and that I have the um, correct uh, paper size and the type of paper. Now when I'm just printing on plain old printer paper, I just choose the photo on mat um, because that's the closest to just you know standard uh, printer paper so you have several options here fit fill custom so if you wanted to do something custom you could do that and put in your own sizes 8 by 10 is going to print them each individually 8 by 10 on the sheet um, and which gives you a little bit of a border around it 5 by 7 which makes them a little bit of border but they're you know they're bigger than say the 4 by 6 which has a lot more border space around it and then the one that I use that people are asking about is contact sheet the contact sheet gives you exactly what you see here in this big section where uh, the ones you've selected have been put all together on one sheet and the images are small now down here on the bottom you can absolutely change some of those settings for instance if I wanted to get if I wanted the pictures to be a little bit bigger I could change and go with a smaller fewer columns so instead of having four columns I could have three columns and it's gonna print the photos a little bit larger they're still gonna be small but because that's one sheet of paper that they're all being printed on right so um, I, I usually print on the four column format just because I really like that size it goes really well with the journaling that I do using the um, no excuses journaling format and using the documented life because I'm working in my planner for those two projects and so I need the photos to be a little bit smaller um, so this is a really great way if you're trying to print your artwork out for instance if you're doing documented life and you're trying to print your your photos out um, to use as the tip-in 
or the page extender, then you might do the four by six. That way you get, you know, you'll get two on a sheet and you can print them out, cut them out, and then um, use washi tape to add them to the flap of your, of your uh, planner. So lots of options, but back to the one that folks were really asking about and, and inquiring, this is the one that I use. It's the contact sheet. So once you have all of your things set, and you'll notice here that I don't have any captions, but you can absolutely have captions. So if you click down here in the bottom right where it says captions, you have some options. If you have gone in and put titles in, it's instead of the ones that just automatically default and come in when you um, upload your photos, then if you click title, whatever that is, it'll show. And it'll be really tiny under the bottom of the photo if you have condensed. If you switch it to basic, it's going to shift it over to the left of the photo. And you'll see here, there, it's now on the left. I, when I do print captions, I print condensed because I like it to be right in the center bottom of the photo. So you can print multiple things. For instance, I could also print keywords if I put those in. Or I could print the name of the file if I wanted to do that. Um, I could print the date, right? There's a, any of these options can be selected, or you can select multiple options because you have the check mark there. Okay, so I am actually not going to print any captions. If I were going to print this, I might not print any. So here's how I do it. Then I just hit print, wait for it to print, and I go grab it off my sh off my printer, and I um, use my scissors and cut these into tiny little squares and paste them on various places in my planner. So I hope this has been helpful. Uh, again, I want to apologize to all my folks who are not using iPhoto. I'm sure there's something out there that is comparable that um, you all could be using for the same um, sort of process that's probably very similar. So uh, if, you f if you are using something other than iPhoto, do leave uh, something down in the comments so that other folks can check it out. All right, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is Kyla Givehan coming to you with Hump Day How To number five. I look forward to seeing what beautiful things you create. Go out and create something beautiful this week. Bye now. Mm -hmm.